Hey, this is Charlie. Bad news, folks. Bad news, my YouTube friends. I've made a lot of videos about my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and a lot of videos about my cases. And I've, I've reviewed a lot of cases on there. And I've always talked about some of the cases that I review about the protection that they give. And this, I will tell you this. I stand by mo almost all the cases that I've reviewed and I've used for quite a while. Um, the Caseology cases, especially this one, really good for protection. This one I bought in the mall when I first, it's a no-name brand that I bought in the mall. It's a two-part case. Again, I've used those cases for quite a while, quite a few months, and especially this one I love a lot. This is the, the Spigeon case. And if you watch my other video, I'll put the link below. I will say it and I'll say it again. You need to have some kind of protection on your phone or else this is going to happen. Um, a few days ago, I I like to bling my phone. Like sometimes just take, just take off the case because you know, this is a nice phone. I paid a lot of money for it and I love to show it off. So a few days ago, I took off the case and I, was, I went to dinner. Like anytime I go to dinner, anytime I go to something really, you know, really, really nice, or I go out to something, you know, to, to go out on a date or whatever, I, I, I walk around in my, with my nice looking phone, and I was on my way to work, and I realized I didn't put my case back because I work in an environment where I need to have a good case on my phone, and usually I do. This phone have taken a lot of falls, and those cases have saved it quite a few times on that day i was about to leave the phone in, it, in my vehicle and go to work but i brought it in because i hate going to work with my phone naked like this and i walked into work and five minutes later this is the result simple fall it just fell off slide up my hands and um i was walking and it just it i just kind of moved my hands and it just slide off and it fell right on on the face like this and then i could just felt i just felt it and i pick it up and i turn it around and this is what we have it's still working um the glass is shattered i can still use it it hurts to watch it so i kind of so i've been using my my nexus 5 now for 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 the, for the past few days and i'm trying to get it fixed now what i'm going to do is for this video is um is walking through the process of getting i'm not going to do it myself probably i can change this myself but i'm going to try to get it fixed the proper way because this is the expensive phone i want it done right i have changed um i've replaced screens before and these guys in liquor stores around the corner or whatever they they never do a good job okay so first thing first you would think okay I bought this phone from from T-Mobile. I didn't take. I, there's no insurance. I buy my phone outright. I've never had issues with broken screen before like that. But I went to T-Mobile and they kind of even recommend. It's so crazy that the T-Mobile store can't even recommend some way to do it, or they wouldn't take it from you and send it in to fix to Samsung. Or you would think that they had they have some way to get it fixed for you. The only way they will fix your broken phone for you is if you have insurance, and they will just basically just switch it if you have insurance. So that's T-Mobile is of no help. Okay, so the next thing I try to do is to go online to to Samsung and try to get to get it to send to Samsung. Um, again, we, that was a no go. When my when my screen was broken with Motorola, when I had my Motorola Zoom and my screen got broken, I went online, put it in. They sent me a box in like in almost the, the following day. Sent me a prepaid box, put it in there, sent it off. About a week later, I got it, and it was almost back to brand new. So that's the kind of that's what I was I was hoping for. But again, Samsung had to evaluate. They wanted pictures of it upload online. They wanted the receipt for the phone. I mean, they wanted my uh, my dead son probably. So right now, I'm trying to find somebody local to fix it. I want it done properly. Um. I hate that I have to do this, but I'm going to have to fix it. And then as soon as I fix it, I'm going to sell it because it will never be the same. You know, 
it might be better probably i don't know but it, i don't think i will never feel the feeling for me is that it will never be the same so this is where i'm at right now um like i told you i have i have cases and, it, and I, I can guarantee you if i had a case on there especially my favorite case my my caseology case this one there the metal bear bar on here i will put the link in the script guys even if you don't like cases on your phone like me i don't like cases on my phone but there are certain places that you go to especially with me and where i work i need to have a case on my phone and i and i became too lax with how places that i just put my phone down you know and the most dangerous place for me to have that phone is at work because where i work is a kind of like a rough environment so um after spending almost an hour on the phone in samsung i finally get samsung and and first first i shop around my local area in houston and to get to get this glass replaced it was going to cost me almost 300 dollars um samsung will do it for like 180 190 for the most so i just got the shipping label it just came in so right now they had me remove everything in there all the batteries and all my sim card and everything every everything in there the sd card and um, i even took i even took off the pen from there and i'm gonna wrap it in the bubble in bubble wrap and box it and send it on its way to samsung um actually so i'm gonna send it but the, the address that it's going to for repair is gonna be right here in texas somewhere in plato texas so hopefully i should get it in a few days if not i'm, I'm gonna get them at least a week to see so they gave instruction of how to wrap it, how to put it in there. So I have a box lying around. So I'm gonna box it, put it in there, make sure it should be ready to go. Luckily I had a box lying around to do that. And and again, like I said, it it was gonna it would cost locally it was gonna cost three hundred dollars three hundred dollars to do that and i can get it done for one plus and that's because i have the warranty on, on the phone i didn't so it, it's perfect in there so i'm gonna print my label and head to the post office charlie again out